Okay, so we are going to make perfected pulled pork. And so this recipe came out of this book, Great Foods Fast by Bob Warden. Uh, really like this book so far. It's for the pressure cooker. For your pressure cooker. Um, everything in here is for pressure cooker. So we've made a couple items and they've been really good and really easy. So, uh, And with stuff that you mostly already have. And it's called perfected pulled pork. So what we have here in this container is the dry rub stuff which uses these ingredients and he'll tell you how much of each but it's brown sugar, paprika, chili powder, ground mustard, salt and pepper and we use the grinders. And I'll put the uh, amounts on the screen so you can create this at home and also down in the description. So we have all of our um, dry rub mix here and then you also need the oil is just to sear your meat in, and then these are the things that you're going to cook your meat in. You're going to use the chicken broth, we're using chicken base, um, apple cider vinegar, liquid smoke, and then to wrap it all up in the end you'll need a 16 ounce bottle of whatever barbecue sauce you like. Recipe calls for a 4 to 5 pound uh, pork butt. Um, we have a 7 pound here so it's a little bit bigger. But uh, the first step is to cut this in two inch slices. Okay, so I have the meat here cut the um, best I could. Tried two inches, some, you know, you know, it is what it is. So. 2.5. So then, so now once you got your meat cut, um, you're going to take your rub that you made and rub it all over your meat. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so yeah, I have a tablespoon of oil in there, and then you just put your rubbed meat in there and then let it. Just cook a little bit on each side to sear, sear in the flavor. When you're done searing all the meat, you put it all into the pot. And then we are pouring in the chicken stock, apple cider vinegar, and liquid smoke combination. And then you will put the lid on and set it on high for 100 minutes. Okay, so we are putting the lid on. And just a tip, because I had messed up the other night, make sure you're pressure valve is on ceiling okay. and you're going to turn it to meat so yours may be a little different than this one just hit the meat button and then set it for 100 minutes okay so the timer is up um, but we're going to do a slow release for 15 minutes okay so it's been a little over 15 minutes 20 minutes and we are going to release the rest of the pressure so you want to do that you probably want to wear a glove or something this is really hot so. We're going to do this, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that the pressure is released, we are going to take the lid off. We are going to take all this pork out and get rid of all the liquid. So you use your tongs and just pull all this. As you can see, it just falls apart, which is what we were wanting. So just remove all this from the cooker. And then we're going to get rid of the liquid. Okay, so the uh, recipe says to add your barbecue sauce in to your back into your pot uh, once you've emptied out all the water, and warm your barbecue sauce, and then put your um, pulled pork, uh, which we're going to shred this back in the pot. So we're just going to shred this and then pour our barbecue sauce over top of it. Um, I think it'll be just fine. Okay, so I have my meat claws right here in this make shredding pork extremely easy so I will put a link to these down in in, uh, down in the description you can get these on Amazon they're really cheap so they work really well and highly recommend them so they're meat claws okay so our barbecue is ready uh, we did not add barbecue sauce because we have several different varieties and people like different flavors so uh, we're gonna just leave it like this and then people can top it with their own barbecue sauce um, if you want to mix in barbecue sauce you just mix it in and it's ready to go so we'll let you know what we think all right so this perfected pulled pork turned out awesome um, it was delicious even without any kind of barbecue sauce so highly recommend you try this it's it's probably some of the best pork that we've made and it's really easy to do and it came out of this book right here so um, Great food fast. Highly recommend this book if you're new to pressure cooking and want some easy recipes that turn out delicious. Um, this book's for you. 
So I'll put a link to it down in the description down below. And if you like our videos, subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks. See ya.